We're looking at Miguel Overa's home. Miguel's a 20-year veteran of the Air Force, and we came out here to look at some repairs that we could do. But once I inspected the home, what we found was we had subfloor that was rotting to the point where his wheelchair was falling through the floor. And his grandson's been out here patching his floor up just so he could get from one room to the other. Then as I got further into the inspections, I found the windows were actually starting to fall out of the wall. The walls are shaky. There, it, the house is in, in such repair that we realized that Operation Finally Home had to get Miguel a mortgage-free home, a new home. So that's what we're doing here today. And just tell you, thank you, thank you for your service because you laid the road for a lot of us to be able to serve. And uh, I just want to say thank you. Yeah, this, this was a great opportunity for the Texas Veterans Commission, especially with its funds for Veterans Assistance Program, to be able to partner with Operation Finally Home, as well as McCoy uh, Building. Yeah, so McCoy is out of our Bastrop location. We donated a lot of the material to this project. Uh, our store manager over there in Bastrop, her name is Nicole. Uh, she was very involved with the Operation Finally Home folks too, and um, donated a lot of the material here to, to just make the home a lot nicer for him. It's an honor, it's a privilege. I'm just excited for Miguel and his wife to now be in a new mortgage-free home, uh, one that they don't have to worry about any of the this and fixing that. And, you know, something else that uh, most people don't realize is this is a, it's a more energy efficient home too. So the cost of home ownership is gonna be reduced greatly. So I'm just, I'm really happy for them to be in this new chapter of their life. And I didn't want to go on no home, you know. I like to stay at my own place. I'll die in my own place before I go anywhere else. As you know, Vietnam veterans were not very appreciated, you know, when they were returned. Uh, we didn't get the welcoming that uh, nowadays the uh, GIs get from pa Iran and Pakistan and all that. We didn't get that, but I love America. Our agency takes pride in recognizing them, giving them a coin, giving them a lapel that they can put on their jackets or on their sweater, where they are proud of their service. Miguel did 21 years of service for our nation. We owe it back to him and others like him to thank him for their service.